Welcome to part three of our bathroom mini renovation series. If you haven't yet seen parts one and two, I suggest you start there because it will give you a good overview of all of the little tasks that we undertook to try and improve this bathroom and take it from being a space that was really horrible and quite unpleasant to be in to something which actually I think is pretty decent. Now to be clear, this was a budget renovation, so we weren't going all out and changing everything. Uh, that will come later down the line. We are planning to do a full bathroom refit at some stage. But for now, we just wanted to keep things as simple as possible while still improving the overall look and feel of the current bathroom. So we've now successfully completed all of the little jobs that we wanted to do, and it's now time to show you just what a difference it's actually made. So after a number of days of very hard work with a fair amount of swearing and some false starts, we are finally done with our bathroom renovation phase one. So time for the big reveal. Considering how it looked before, I think we have actually pulled off almost a miracle, <laughs> I would say. Um, I'm really actually quite impressed with how it's turned out. I mean, even these tiles don't look terrible now. Um, and in fact, the pattern on them kind of matches the gray interior that we have. Um, same story with the bath, actually. It just happens to be gray, which is the color scheme that we wanted for the bathroom. So it kind of almost looks like it was intentionally done, but actually that was just a bit of blind luck. This thing was a lucky find in Ikea. It's actually supposed to be for CDs, but it works really well um, as a little storage unit here and adds a bit of a splash of color with the plants. And this sink unit obviously was something that we really wanted to put in. Um, we could have made do with the sink that was already there, but uh, we really wanted to upgrade that a little bit and make it a bit nicer and also the other thing is this has tons of storage space in it um, and storage space is really one of our biggest problems in this flat so anything that can help with that uh, is a plus um, and of course we have tons of storage space now under the bath as well uh, which we haven't used yet but there is a lot of space to store all sorts of random things under there, things like toilet rolls, um, I mean in the old flat we stored lots of um, drinks, you know, alcohol, spirits and things like that as well. So really useful space that. Um, in fact, I don't know why it's not more common to use under bath storage. 
Also this mirror we had before, um, this came with us from the flat, also very useful little storage space. Um, shout out to my good friend Dom for that because he actually got this for me um, from a building site that he was working on. <laughs> so we didn't even pay anything for it, it was a freebie. And look how nice it is. So thank you for that Dom, you have really made our lives a lot better with that. So there is my panel in the roof which is covering up the hole in the ceiling. Um, I sealed around the edge um, and that kind of helps to blend it in a little bit. It's definitely not perfect but it looks a lot better than a hole um, and it will certainly do until such time as we can replace the ceiling. Um, the ceiling still has the stains on it so we're just trying not to look too closely at that at the moment. Um, Shout out to my dad actually, he came up with quite a good solution potentially for solving that which is to try and get hold of road marking paint because um, it will cover up the stains. So that might be something we'll look into, um, but for now we'll leave it like this um, and just enjoy having a bathroom that we can actually use. So let's talk about costs for a second because this really wasn't our final bathroom fit out. Uh, we will at some point be essentially redoing it again. Um, we will be keeping some of the stuff, like the uh, basin and the little under basin cabinet thing, we'll definitely keep that. Um, probably the toilet seat as well, but we're going to be replacing the floor with something a bit more suitable. Um, probably tiles, we'll see how we go with that. And we're going to take out this bath and put in a freestanding bath. And obviously we're going to get rid of this massive wall in here. Um, and we're going to have a proper walk-in shower as well. So that is the long-term plan. So that will be phase two, but we don't have to worry about that too quickly because we now have a space which is actually quite decent um, that we can use in the meantime. So costs. We came to a total of £590.75, and pence, which considering all of the stuff that we bought, um, I think is actually a pretty good total. Also, this stuff in yellow at the top here is all to do with uh, changing the sink. Um, and actually, we could have got away with keeping the sink that was in there. Um, probably it would have cleaned up quite well, as the toilet did. But we really wanted the storage, and we really just wanted a, a more modern-looking one. Um, and we really like that countertop sink type uh, scenario. So that was a total of £177.96 to do all of the sink stuff. So if we hadn't done that, the total would have been more like £400 rather than £590. So really, that's actually not too bad. And this includes absolutely everything that we did, including um, the ball valves that we had to add underneath the sink because those were missing. Um, it includes the little plastic plants that we bought and the bin. Um, so little things like that, which probably you might have anyway. Um, so really, you know, the actual, the main stuff that actually made the difference was stuff like the paint, um, so the white paint and the radiator paint, uh, the shelving units, and uh, the new ceiling light. So actually, even £400, you could probably bring that down even more to about £300 if you were being really frugal with it. But actually to completely transform that bathroom and make it into a place that's actually a really pleasant space to be in, I think £590 is actually a bargain really. So that was the story of our little mini bathroom upgrade, hope you enjoyed that and as usual there are plenty more jobs coming down the pipeline so stick around and if you haven't yet please hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures. Um, if you could just give this a quick like as well, I know it sounds like I'm just a stuck record going on and on the same old bollocks every day. But we're really just a little channel trying to make it in the big world and every little thing that you can do to help us really is a massive help. So yeah, just hit that like button. Do it now. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>